Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to the Fangoria Movie Challenge. Now, this is a segment I've been doing with my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where we're not only going to watch, but we're going to review all 101 movies Fangoria thinks we should have seen. Today, we're going to be talking about The Sect. <clears throat> now, The Sect is a 1991 film, which runs approximately 116 minutes, and it's also known by the name The Devil's Daughter. Now this is written and directed by, and I think I'm pronouncing this right, Michele Suave. Now he was responsible for Cemetery Man, Stage Fright, and The Church. Now this stars Kelly Curtis as Miriam Carisi. She was in Trading Places, You Again, an ex-cop. Herbert Lom as Mobius Kelly. He passed away on September 27th, 2012 at the age of 95. He was in The Dead Zone, Spartacus, and Ten Little Indians. And Mary Angelica Giordano as Catherine. She was in Vengeance, Sacred Heart, and Killer Barbies. I believe that's a Jess Franco film. Could be wrong about that. Now, the first victim of the film is Marion Crane, <laughs> an homage to Psycho. And Zombie 3 was shot in Rome with borrowed sets from the sect. Okay. Now, the reason why I took this one out is because up until the other day, I didn't really even know I had it. And I had never known it by the devil, devil's daughter. I had just known it by the sect. So when Joe and I were going to watch the sect, I took this down and I actually watched Oval Portrait, which is a short story from, based on a short story from Edgar Allan Poe. And it was, it was pretty good. And I was going to watch the devil's daughter. Well, this being 116 minutes, I took this out to see what the picture quality was because... I already have the Scorpion Blu-ray. But when I put it in, it said an hour and a half. I was like, well, this must be like really, really cut. Well, that's actually not the case. Because in another program, a separate program on the disc, it had a program for 26 minutes. Which, of course, makes up the hour and 56 minute runtime. Now, I have never seen that done in a film before. I've seen broken down into chapters, but never a movie put on two segments unless they were putting it on another side. Uh, case in point, um, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, if you got the original blue or DVD, half of it was put on one side, half of it was put on the other because it was so long. But that's actually not the case because this is one disc. It's not double-sided. So, I'm not really sure why they did it, but, um, and the picture was okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's it's okay for a watch. Now, this on the other hand, the picture is beautiful. And, yeah, it's awesome. Now, I'm not going to say much about this film. Because, unfortunately, anything I say about the film, you're given it's given to you in pieces. Starting in 1970 and up through the modern time, which was... Um, 1991 at the time and you get the film in pieces and it all makes sense at the end but anything I tell you is going to give away part of the story and how it's intended so the only thing I'm going to say about it is a girl who is basically by herself has grown up by herself no kids or husband or anything like that she does have a rabbit as a pet, and that does, does come into play in the film. Um, she has to battle the ultimate battle between good and evil. And that's all I'm going to say, because I really don't want to give anything away about the sect. It is a very complex film, and it's not one that you have to that you can watch and turn your brain off. You kind of have to really pay attention to it, because everything in the film is leading to the final point of the film if that makes any sense. Um, the first time I watched it, 
I don't think I was in the mood for it because, uh, truthfully, I didn't really care for it. But then I was doing something else while I was watching it. And you can't watch this film like that. You have to be paying attention at all times. The second time I watched it, I fell in love with it. And I seem to like it more every time I watch it. Now it's one of my favorite Michele's Suave film. Now I'm going to pair this with another one of his films, which is The Church. Now these have a similar theme as far as religion goes. And that's all I'm going to get into. Because like I said, I don't want to spoil anything. But the church is beautifully filmed. Um, this guy is so talented. And the fact that he only made four films, to me, is a shame. I wanted to see more from this guy. Now he does Italian television, if I'm not mistaken. But a little, uh, some fun facts about uh, Michele Suave. He did work under Dario Argento for a while. And left him and went under, I believe it was Fulci, and then went back to Dario Argento. And then kind of did his own thing. But the church is, it's just beautifully shot. It seemed like they had a little bit more money to play with in the church than they did with the sect. And you can really tell by the quality of the film. But the sect is just a fantastic story. Uh, definitely one of my favorite of his films now. Don't forget to check out Joe's review of The Sect or Devil's Daughter. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.